Oh my God! How would you, know, you sleep? I would I not have like been able to sleep. Baby, what? I slept like I got baby. Here's my stuff like a baby. God, the they training put, you got in sleep in orphanages must have been. Yo, I slept best. through fire alarms. Oh man, you gotta sleep. And when you grow up in group homes, you gotta know how to get some sleep in. Oh. Where you been and where you going? This is Ari's travel show. Yeah, we're gonna talk about travel today. It's you. Welcome to You Be Trippin', everybody. I almost said You Be Drunk. You Be Trippin'. Welcome to You Be Trippin', you guys. Uh, I'm your host, Ari Shafir. I love to travel. Um, and every week, every episode, we talk to a friend of mine, or someone I don't know, uh, about some magical place in the world. And today, it's uh, another other than uh, an amazing stand-up comic and a uh, buddy of mine, and now a fellow traveler. Yes. You've been going more lately, huh? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, Monroe Martin. I got to yes. say your name first. I yes, shouldn't have said my name, God damn it. Yeah, it was, a bad, it was a bad question set up when I don't say your yeah. name, and I already <laughs> start like, talking about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this is, uh, I've been to uh, China, Italy, Africa. Damn. Yeah, and like, where was I the first Mexico and shit, I'm like, because uh, people, yeah. everybody go to Mexico. Cancun but, doesn't really count, unless you're yeah. going to like somewhere deep in like I've never Oaxaca went, or something. Never Oaxaca, <laughs> all yeah. resorts. All resorts, Colombia. Resort? Yeah, no, Colombia, we was uh, we were in, what was that shit? Uh, Cartagena, Cartagena. Oh, wow. Yeah, that shit was fun. That's cool. I went to Medellin, it was cool as shit. But that's what we're talking about yeah, today. Yeah, let's go. Today we're talking about some place you just got back from. Was China your first trip? Your first, China like, trip, was, trip? A, China would be my first trip. Real foreign place. Nah, Italy. I oh, went to yeah. Italy before China. I remember you saying you were going to China. Yeah. I actually went to text you. Yeah. And I was like, and I, you know how you opens up the last text? Yeah. And I was like, hey, I have a new travel podcast. Do you want to come on and talk about China? And I just yeah. saw you're like, whatever I'd asked you before, like, can't this week. I'm in yeah. Nairobi. Yo. And I was like, oh. And I was like, delete, Man, delete, delete. And I was like. That shit was so fun. When'd you go? Why'd you go there? I went for a show. So I posted on Instagram. Where haven't I been? No, I, I wait. They brought people. you to do that? They brought me to do that. Wait, how'd you do it? Sorry, I didn't so mean to So I posted online, where haven't I been? Like, what cities haven't I been to and performed in? And, you know, you get the American cities, and then somebody was like, Nairobi. And then I liked it, and then they were like, yo, but seriously, what happened? I'm just like, sure, oh. Sorry, keep going, yeah. They was like, I, I liked it, and then I was like, hey, where can I perform in Nairobi? And they was like, oh, will I actually run a place? No fucking way. And there was a booker who, he runs like Punchline Comedy Club, Punchline Comedy Nairobi. And he was like, yo, we just started a comedy scene like 2017, like actual traditional stand-up. Because they did comedy before, but it was always like slapstick, sketch stuff. So he was like, I would love for you to come out here and like see what it's about but also do my two shows he did two theater shows that like a 300 seat theater no way last year uh first show was really good wasn't sold out second show i think they got really close to selling out if not sold out damn fucking great wait right let's see if we can where's nairobi nairobi, okay. nairobi. all right where's uh, uh, well, i switch i swapped this so you don't get used to it we always put america here and i'm like nah why you know what i'm thinking of doing making a new one with it upside down because yeah. there's actually no top and bottom. It's just north and south. Yeah. That you know confuse what I mean? People, that could be just as, like, correct. There's no up and down in space. Anyway, yeah, true, because so it just repeats itself. So I know Nairobi is, uh, it'll be, like, East or East west? Africa. East. East. Masawala, and Barbera. And it should be low. down. It should be, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. under, like, a... Mozambique? Uh-oh, it's close. Because if you're near Mozambique, then you're near Nairobi. It's crazy. It's not on here. here. Should I Google it? No, no. Okay. I know it's around here. It's just interesting. I can't see it. It's probably small. All right. How, when is this map from? I think like the eighteen. What does it say? I don't know. Um, ocean currents, trade winds. Keith Johnson never trust a dude named Keith Johnson. To make maps. Southern continent. I think it's from like the fifteen hundreds. And. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these, uh, whatever. Anyway, all right, anyway, fuck yeah. it. All right, it's out Should there. Should be on there. It's out there. But it was fun, man. So you went out to Nairobi. I went out to Nairobi. I brought my wife, and I wouldn't have went if I couldn't bring my wife. So when I negotiated, I negotiated flight and stay to cover that stuff. And Were you scared at all? Nah, I kind of got over that shit when I was younger. I ain't afraid to go nowhere. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's because to me, it's like. I've never been in one place long enough to really 
feel comfortable to the point where I can't go anywhere else. To the point where, I, like, meaning, like, I moved around so much as a kid that as an adult, I'm like, well, it makes sense that you would go around and you would keep moving and be a rolling stone. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I, I'm not afraid to go anywhere. That was one of the reasons I even started doing comedy because I'm like, shit is unpredictable and it can take you anywhere. <laughs> so fucking unpredictable. Yeah. And it can take you anywhere. And so far it yeah. has. Wait, so, okay, so what's it like? What'd you do there? So, one, it's not like it was, like, I ain't even gonna, gonna lie. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, not nervous, but when I brought it to my wife, she was kind of like, eh, I don't yeah, know. that's what I mean, scared. Because she she expected it to be like Columbia. We went to Columbia, man. Yeah. They begging the moment you got off that oh, plane. Right. The moment you get off the plane, they were fucking asking for money. They chase you down the street and shit. Yeah. So we was expecting that, and and I'm not afraid of it. I'm just like, all right, I'm I'm it's going annoying. with that in my yeah, mind. Right. But we went. It was none of that. Really? It was fucking great, yo. What was, uh, like, what, like, explain the vibe. What? So, the uh, first thing that I noticed is that Africans are, at least this, like, this group of Africans aren't loud at all. At all. Interesting. And you hear the excuse growing up, like, I'm loud because I'm African. This is my roots. Like, that <laughs> motherfuckers were quiet, yo. <laughs> like, you would have to lean in to hear them talk. They would be really? like, really? You're like, what? <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? What are you and saying? And then, like, you had to get close. Just like, I expected, like, Moomba. Like, all that shit. None of it. Like, when you get off of the airport, that's Yeah, was expected. it, like, traditional? Nah. The way they present Africa. Nope. I, dude, I read this article on Africa on how to write about Africa, and it's yeah. all the stereotypes you don't realize you've been seeing. There's no. always a mama character. Never. You got, the, it's it's that uh, uh, animals are more important than humans. No. <laughs> you know? Nah, they didn't give a fuck. Wow. Like, the, when they heard the way we treat my, I treat my dog, they was like, why? <laughs> Cause like we, I do. I think we do the same thing. We get our dog like food that yeah. like freeze dried, and they come in and Sometimes, shit like that. Yeah. And it's like, why? Like let it outside. It'll <laughs> find something to eat. Were there strays there? Huh? Were there strays there? A bunch of these motherfuckers nice. just running around. Yeah. And they didn't care. And they were like, because it'll end up somebody will take it in as a pet, and then let it go, and it'll find another home. Yeah. They respect the animals, but they're not like. Oh, this is my baby. That was like, no, the motherfucker's job is to fucking kill other things that aren't supposed to be on my farm. Is it crazy? They just like ro roam around outside and then just like, they'll be back. Yeah. It's so Or they'll crazy. get hit by a car and not be back. And they thought we were stupid because I thought that was going to be all the animals. And I was like, me and my wife was like, all right, but there's dogs running around. How come we haven't seen any like bears or any like wild cats? And it was like, because motherfucker, you in the city. Yeah. Like you got to go so far to see wildlife. <laughs> like that's also oh really think, yo we had to go so far like you can see a cow but like the you seeing like a, a fucking bear or whatever walking around nah yeah Not right at all. and they laughed at us lions we, though I, that's what you expect you expect lions no lions yeah. all like is it just sticks. like a first world city yeah what do they got like mcdonald's and shit they got mcdonald's they got a hell of a lot of uh okay. chicken spots at mcdonald's and stuff we went to a lot of like classy restaurants that would even be considered like upscale here. So okay, like so, rooftop bars, a lot of rooftops, a lot yeah. of rooftops with the twinkle lights and the shit. Like yeah, yeah. look like you're just at any old brunch spot. Same shit there, overlooking the city of Nairobi. Yeah, here look, I'll show you. Smorgasbords and shit. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> what kind of food was it at these places? All types of shit. Hold on, sorry, because I got other, I got Columbia stuff mixed in. How are you mixed in? It's time, time stamped. Cause I don't know, man. I don't really plan on looking at this stuff again. Cause you edited it, so then it's saved new. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta find all of this shit. But uh, wait, is it's so? Is it like East African food? It's or mixed, it, man. So yeah. it's like, um, here, this, this start scrolling. This okay. is like what one of the spots we went to. Oh, what's that? It looked like this is one of the spots. This was like That's an a outdoor restaurant? restaurant that we went wow. to. This is the first place we went to off the plane. Wow. So, the like he was like the, the guy who this booked this This seems like Hawaii, dude. Eric. Yo, he was like, hey, you want y'all want to go get something to eat? And he was like, sure. And I'm already prepared to eat with my hands and shit. Eat bugs. Yeah, yeah. I'm already prepared to be like, this fufu was good, but it was fucking... Everything. Look at that fire pit outside. Dope ass fire pit. 
Oh my god. It was this beautiful. This is upscale. Upscale. Wow. How hot was it? It wasn't even that hot. That was another thing that got us too. It was cold as shit. Most of the pictures I have on the jacket because I thought it would get like extremely like hot over there and I take my jacket off. I was sniffling and no sneezing. Way, really? It was chilly. Really? It was chilly. It doesn't snow over there, but it gets it gets kind of frigid. Who are these other people? Just two random black people. Uh, no, into? those are the other <laughs> comics on the show. That'd be funny. So it's like, oh, this would be. <laughs> those are other. That's the comic on the show. On the Is he Nairobi? No, he's from South Africa, and he wasn't expecting Nairobi to look like that either. Really? Because he's from South Africa, and South Africa is different from the rest of Africa. It's rich. I'm not saying that no other part of Africa is rich, but like yeah. South Africa, they got money. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's expensive to live there. It's like. And like so he, any, th- yeah. So what he thought? He thought he, thought Nairo- he would come to Nairobi because he said he's never been either, and that he would like he was expecting the same shit. Jungle. He was expecting it to be a little bit more like depleted and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And it wasn't. Like we were all like, "What the fuck?" Like besides the roads, the what? Besides, the, besides like the roads, yeah, like oh, you right. driving down the road, it'll quickly go from like paved street to like dirt road. Oh, like wow. within like three oh, blocks, yeah. but besides that, new hotels, dope restaurants. That's um, weird too, though, right? When the, yeah. when the roads are just like washed out. Yeah, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> a lot Bless of those you. places, it'll just be like, thank you. It'll just be like, yeah, yeah, like a highway, and then yeah. suddenly, like, why are we slowing down? If you're on a and bus, then and you're nothing. like, what the fuck? We're yeah. bouncing now. That's exactly what it was. It was just like, um, a lot of dirt roads, but a lot of like paved highways, and like the paved highways and shit definitely led to the richer areas and shit. Uh-huh. But like here, this is what I'll show you. Yeah. Like I was showing people that, and I'm like, you would think I would be like I was in Miami. I took a video just to be like, where do you think I'm at? And you would think I'm like in Miami. But what were the bathrooms Africa. like? I mean, they were third world like shit. Okay, explain those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, explain those. Fucking disgusting. You still got a shit in the hole. I didn't know. No do way, it. really? They had a whole shitter like that? Yeah, it was disgusting. The bathrooms were nasty. That was definitely third world. Damn. Yeah. How'd man. your lady. Um... She didn't want to do none of that shit. <laughs> Here, I think, yeah, you're just going to have to go through the videos because I got some shit that's uh, like other stuff. But this is like from the rooftop of the hotel I was at. Yeah, that's like that's like Vegas. That's like a regular fucking city. Yeah, they're just dude. doing construction on the bottom, but yeah. like, damn, it seems big. Yeah. How big is Nairobi? Uh, I don't know. It was huge though. Wow, look at all that traffic. Yeah. Guys, I'm taping my special, April 26th and 27th in Washington D.C. Get tickets right now at ariushafir.com. I'm a stand-up comic, and so is Monroe Martin, and that's what we're doing here. I'm going to tell you about our shows. Monroe has a has a 20-minute special he has on YouTube right now that he taped from this episode. Monroe Martin's live from Nairobi, Kenya. It's on YouTube right now, and you want to check it out. Monroe is one of the most interesting comics that I know in New York. When I moved there, I was like, oh, I didn't think it was uh, possible for uh, like uh, someone to break free of genre so much that they can just do, kind of really be themselves and be unique and interesting. And that's Monroe. He's his own man. Um, maybe because he grew up in an orphanage and had to make his own path in the world. Anyway. Uh, I've also got some other dates, all of them at arishfear.com. Don't forget to subscribe to at UB Trippin' Pod on social media uh, and on YouTube so you can see all the fucking crazy stuff that Monroe posted, uh, the videos he took and the pictures he took from this trip. It's wild. It's going to be good if you listen. You'd be tripping. But if you watch on UB be Trippin' Pod on YouTube, it's also really wild. We already got 35,000 subscribers. I've got some other dates. May 9th and 10th, I'm doing in Los Angeles my storytelling show, Ari Shafir's renamed storytelling show. May 9th, May 10th, 10.30 each night. Get tickets right now before it sells out. Small venue, the Comedy Store, they both will sell out quick. Get tickets. It's always a great time. I'm also going to be in Halifax. First show sold out, so we added a second show on uh, April 11th. April 12th, Ottawa sold out. April 13th, Vermont. Rutland, Vermont, a tremendous amount of tickets left. Um, <laughs> Huntington, New York at the Paramount, uh, April 14th. 420 in Austin uh, at the Paramount there as well. And then my special in Washington, D.C. The Capitol turnaround, April 26th and 27th. Early show 27th is sold out. Uh, get tickets for the late show or the first show on, look, I'm in and out of the light here. This is probably weird to look at. And then I got Australia. It's all on sale now. It starts with May 17th in Melbourne. Um, Canberra on May 25th, Adelaide May 24th, Brisbane May 21st, and Sydney May June 1st, and then I'm done. I'm done till 2025. I'm not going on the road. 
So if you didn't see me before then, you just aren't going to see me. I'm Ari Shafir. I'm a stand-up com- comic. So is Monroe Martin. Now let's get back to the episode. Mad traffic. Really? Like people, like so much traffic that some people would just like drive on the sidewalk a little bit, like pull up and then go around if they needed to. And then there's people that would just walk in the middle of the street. Like didn't matter where. Because they like, are, the dude who's driving us, Yeah, we had a driver for like majority of the time we were there. Yeah. But when we were going to the safari, we had a different driver. And this motherfucker went 90 for three hours straight. <laughs> really? Yeah, 90. Three hours, 90 and above, three hours straight, did not hit the brakes once. And we just sliding around the backseat like this. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever feel like dangerous when you're doing those things? Or do you Hell just like yeah. go limp and be like, hey, it's happening. I'm not going to say let me out. No, like I feel, I feel in danger when that shit is happening. But I'm like, if it's God's will. God's will. <laughs> yeah, I almost get to the point where I'm like, where I'm like laughing because I'm like, yeah. I've got no control over this, and it's so far beyond what I'm comfortable. I with. just don't want my death to hurt. That's it. Right. I'm just like, let it be quick. If I die in a car accident, yeah. let it be one of those final destination Jones <laughs> where it yeah. just takes the whole top of the car off, and I'm there too. Yeah, like I don't want to be twitching and fucking. They'd be like, fight, <laughs> hold <laughs> on, like no, <laughs> nigga, kill yeah. me, fucking put a hand on my. Is that my leg over there? <laughs> you're like, yeah, it fell off in the thing. Like, no, nah. oh, end it. And nah, it, fuck that. So choking I, I'm blood. comfortable. Yeah, I don't want none of that yeah. shit. Yeah. I make pe- like when I first started getting on planes yeah. f- for comedy, I would just be like, you just gotta make peace with death. And you'd be like, if it goes down, <laughs> just make sure yeah. it's like in the fucking blaze of glory. When you think about it too, in comedy, like it has gone that bad before. Yeah. So it's like it you, does suck. I will You gotta be comfortable it. with it, though. Yeah. You gotta be like, look, I gotta fucking go. Oh, you seen yeah. the giraffe and shit? Yeah, so when did you get into that? So this is the giraffe sanctuary. So first they teased oh. us. They went, hey, y'all wanna go see, like, go to a sanctuary? And it's like, fine. So we yeah. went to elephant sanctuary, giraffe sanctuary, where it's just like, this is where, like, elephants whose parents have been killed and shit, they bring their babies here and then raise them. Oh. Uh-huh. It's like an orphanage, and it was cool. Do you ride them? Nah, I wish, man. It's not that These kind. These strong. You ever touch the elephant? Yeah, dude, when I was in Thailand, I went twice. Yeah. And uh, the second time, we did the elephant, you know, thing. Yeah. Uh, and the second time, they were like, hey, we're all going to this elephant sanctuary. And I was like, oh, I've been to one of those. And they go, did you do the humane one or the inhumane one? And I was What's like, oh, for, one, I, for sure I did the humane one. Yeah. You know? And they go, um, did you ride the elephants? Because at the you can't, you don't ride the elephants at the humane one. I was like, oh, no, then I, inhumane. Yeah, they smacked the shit inhumane. out of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, and then they can like, play harmonica. Huh? They make them play harmonica. Really? Yeah, they're not, and that doesn't really happen in in like nature. So like yeah. they've trained them to do that. Yeah, they shocked his feet or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play, play that shit. Well, blow the nose. She'll be coming around. Do you think he plays the blues? He just kind of plays. I think he plays a tune. All that fucking beating just for two the Tarzan, notes. Tarzan noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just that's it. Just. <laughs> and they're like. We did it. No, we didn't get the we didn't get to ride him or nothing, but you get to touch him, and there's nothing separating you but a, a string. No. And like there was one that like walked towards us, and he like pushed this a little bit, and I felt the power of that elephant because I couldn't do that. Like you know, like oh, I'm gonna see if I can like push back and stand on uh-huh. and that motherfucker moved me with no problem. That elephant walked right past me and pushed me, and I like where your dab and your little kids like squeeze my hand. And you're yeah, like, and, he's like, ah. and you're like nothing, and you're like, oh god, it's that shit. Yeah, wow, really? That elephant pushed the shit out of me, like in a good way. It made me go, all right, this is strong. How much was the um, safari thing? Didn't pay for it. All of that was a gift from the comedy place. From the comedy, they place. hooked up in a I fucking nice text dude. my group chat. I was like, I right, fucking any festival beyond this because they have. I've never been treated better than. Like, I've been to a couple festivals, and none of them has treated me as good as this. Really? Yeah, as people in Africa. Damn. Like, they made sure you ate. They put you up in a nice hotel, fucking gave you an itinerary. And they flew you your checkout, to, too? Yeah. Wow. Fucking went to safari. Yeah. Like, an overnight safari where you're staying on ground. No, like conservation. really? Conservation. With it when, so what comes out at night? So, and we didn't fucking stay out at night. They, they make you go in your tent. They tell you this. They go... So when dinner's over, go in your tent. Do not come back out. If you need anything, please shine the flashlight up the hill and someone will come and get you. And at first you're like, man, I'll be fine. But you hear the things rustling and like, <gasps> ooh, ooh, ah, ah, and then, 
and all that shit. And you're Wait, like, how's your tent going to protect you? It don't. It doesn't. Yeah, what are you talking about? It doesn't fucking protect you. Because at first, like, my wife was like, just zip the tent up. Let's get in here. <laughs> and I'm like, babe, you know anything out there can rip through this shit? Yeah, you think a fucking With wildebeest no is not going to be able to tear down this tent? We got monkeys running on our tent. No fucking way. Fucking, you just hear No me? fucking way. Uh, running on the top of the tent and shit? Oh, my God. How'd no. you sleep? I would I not have like been able to sleep. Baby. What? I slept like I got that baby. Here's my stuff like a baby. God. The they training put... you got in sleep in orphanages must have been Yo, I slept best. through fucking fire alarms. Oh. Man, you got to sleep. And when you grow up in group homes, you got to know how to get some sleep in. Damn. Dude, I'm telling you, I can sleep. My wife would try to wake me up. She's like, babe, you hear it? Yep. You hear it? I'm like, yeah, it's nature. Like, she got back because I said that. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be making the same oh noise when we wake up. Oh my like, God. let me sleep. Because we had to be up at like 6 to go on the safari. But you can hear them running across the thing. Are there like you dangerous hear? animals at night? Aren't, don't like the, the yeah. mountain cats come out? We or? found out like on the last night. Yeah. We found out that we were right next to a hyena den. <gasps> we didn't know we were near a hyena den until, like, I got a video what? of the hyenas fighting, right? No. Yeah. They they fucking going at it. It's the dopest fight ever. It's way better than Lion King. No. Way better than anything Lion King can put together. Here, I'll show you this shit. These motherfuckers were getting it. I don't know. They didn't fucking parade down the aisles. Yeah, they were getting it in. <gasps> they were getting it in, yo. Like, ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> they were getting there. They because oh, one of them. Up that one. They're beating up the one because that one oh, tried baby. to kill the baby. He tried to kill the baby. I they see tried it. to kill the fucking baby. So they whooped that one's ass. And then we had to drive off after that. What? Because they're like not dangerous? Because it was like, all right, yeah, let's get out of here. So we're driving off. And literally, they want that fucking baby, dude. We were right next to this shit. We were like, wait, hold on. This is where the hy- hyenas stay. We was like, we're right over this fucking <laughs> patch of grass. It was just nothing but a patch of grass separating us. But, dude, how great is this fucking sunset? Oh, you want to see something even better? That's a Serengeti? Nah, that's the Mara, the Maasai Mara. Wow. So the Mara is the stretch of land that the Maasai own, and they leave to the like the, people? the Maasai are the people, okay. and it's left for the wildlife. So they they live on it, but they try not to build anything on it. So there's no like um like like sewers or anything. Wait, wait, send shit. me that one. Which one? The that, one where they fighting? Yeah. Okay, airdrop. Uh, yeah, no. I'm airdrop it. Oh okay, no, text? no more shits off. Yeah, it's texting me. All right, I text that to you. But yeah. here's the most. I, to me, this was the most. I don't want to miss that one because you have a lot. Look. What? Wow. Wow. Yo, I, my phone didn't How pick it up clearly. There? There's like 12 elephants. of them. Elephants. There's a bunch of baby. It's like five oh baby God. elephants in the middle of pack. all these. In a fucking pack. <gasps> walking towards wow. us. They're walking towards and you. And we were like, at first it's beautiful. And you're like, oh my God. And you're like, wait. Will they think that we're dangerous and they'll trample us? It'd he be was over. like, no. Nah. He was like, but let's just keep going. <laughs> that was beautiful. God. We seen a leopard eat a uh, a gazelle in a tree. Here, you can hear the crunching. You can hear the leopard fucking go <laughs> and like crunch on this thing's bones. Oh, my God. No way. Here, I'm going to turn it up. No fucking way. There you go. You can hear it's like. <laughs> and it's dropping pieces down for the cubs, for the leopard cubs. And who- you already killed it? Already killed it. So it's still up there. So it's still up there. He killed it and then dragged it up there and then started throwing pieces down for the babies. Oh, he dragged it up there. What yeah. is it? What does he kill? A gazelle. <gasps> you know how he big a gazelle, a gazelle is? into a tree? In a fucking tree. Not even forward. He, he it's just it fucking into a tree. In a goddamn tree. What is it? A, a lion? A tiger? It's a leopard. Leopard. Oh, yeah. And you Same would think thoughts, that yeah. leopards... Aren't that strong, but apparently they're strong as hell. Damn. You hear that shit? Like, yeah. Just broke it. And you, uh, I think I got two videos of them actually dropping like bits and pieces, like heart and stuff, onto there, the uh, ground for you. It. See it? Yeah. Yeah, for the babies. Why did he bring it up there in the first place? So the hyenas can't get it. Yeah, because the hyenas and there's hyenas and there's jackals that also like feed off of other. But they animals don't climb prey. trees or some shit? I mean, they do, but if they do, then the fucking wow. the leopard gonna kill them. 
Wow. Oh, monkeys right next to deer? Yo, everybody's just chilling. Everybody's just chilling. And I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. We came across like monkeys fucking... Just, it's a monkey pack and a deer pack just mixed they're in. They're just chilling. A monkey was just on the back of a goddamn... Uh, there was a monkey on the back of like a water buffalo. No. Yeah. I, I but they're just not monkey. enemies? That's they're not Lion enemies King. because they don't hunt each other. Right. And they don't even get the same food, so they're just like, whatever. Yo, here, ready? What? This was the dopest shit. We were I mean, near so, so many slept lion in park. the park. We were close. Like, like I think I zoom out in that one just so you know how far you were. Yeah, it's like we would like be like. Is that a snake here right next to them your, too? No, nah, that's the stick. Oh, but that's just one of them, <laughs> and they're like right there. And I'm like, oh, oh dude, once gonna... it turns to me, I'm like, no, yeah, no, get me out. I'm like, yo, it's is this thing this gonna way. it fucking yawns and shit? And this dude is like um, telling us, like, oh, they don't worry about you. Why not? Why don't they? You're meat. You're a lot of meat. I, you got to believe him. Why, but I'm saying, why don't they come at you? He said that they don't see us. They see the truck that we're in. But if you see the truck, you be like, they seen us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like open. Yeah. Like, like Jurassic Park. Look. Like they're just chilling. Wow. There's so many, like so many lion prides. So what is it just like miles and miles, and you're just miles in the middle of it? Miles of lions and and all this shit, and they all coexist with each other. So what if you got out of your tent, then they would see you? Oh, is that like, the thing? What? Like this, is my bold ass wife, fucking God, because they gave us breakfast on the Mara, <gasps> out there in the Mara. So she sat down. I stood up the whole time. To protect? I was doing Whoa, lunges look at that, and look shit. Look at that fucking meal they made. Yo, they was making a hell of a lot of their pancakes and eggs and shit. And I'm like, yeah, yo. They set a whole table. I'm like, yo, they can smell us, right? They set a whole table. A whole table Dude, you there. live like a king. Is that Jif? That's Jif, yeah. Is that What is that, coffee or tea? That uh, You have both. You have coffee, you have tea, you have what, honey. Do they have make African tea? Is that they a thing? Kenyan tea. Kenyan it's tea. The, I, it's the greatest shit ever. So it's. What is it? It's is it like, like sweet, sour, salty? Um, Not salty. I would say tea. it's very close to like green tea. It's probably a green tea, so it's caffeinated. But um, the way they do it is that they steep it in milk. Really? And stuff like that. So I never had, I didn't do it Kenyan style. I just did the Kenyan tea. With no milk. With no milk and then hot, like hot water and stuff. This is a good meal. Yo. What's, what is that, milk. churros or is that yeah. sweet potatoes? That, no, uh, hold on, so. You I got, in a little. Okay, you got bacon, you oh, got nice. eggs, you got oh, that's uh, eggs. beans, that's toast, but over here you also have like pancakes and uh, like potatoes. And, and so stuff. they just made you this for, uh, in the morning? In the at, fucking morning. Dude, that's so and gorgeous. That this. that landscape is fucking gorgeous. And for you, I'm sitting there the whole time like, yo, but we just got done passing a whole pride of lions. So you're like, guys, like, guys, we guys, we're not safe like, here. We're not we safe didn't here. We didn't go that far. What it, do they do? They stay in their zones? That's what they say. They say they're not the the, the people who were fuck responsible. That. They were they're not. No, concerned fuck that. They're you. wrong. I've seen lions run a long way. Yo, that's that. That's wrong. They they're said wrong. They're not concerned with us. They're <laughs> like, bullshit. don't worry. They're not concerned, and they will laugh at us. No one anytime. who died has written a bad review because they did. They're dead. Yes, exactly. Really? If it goes horribly wrong there, they'll will not write a review because it will be dead. Yeah. That's why you gotta write pre-reviews. You gotta like. Hey, I'm headed you. to their thing. Yeah. If I don't follow up, you know what the you worst know thing it was possible. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Apple used to have this thing because they know they're gonna be eventually obligated by the government to release everything. Yeah. And so they put on their website, go, hey, we have this thing up here right now mm -hmm. that says uh, we will not spy on anyone's stuff. If you don't see this on the website anymore, yeah, you go ahead and know what that means. We spying. Yeah. We fucking <laughs> yeah. If they're like, they're not gonna let us tell you, so we're gonna yeah. take this down. Wow. Today's episode of You Be Trippin' is brought to you by The Freeze Pipe. Guys, do you like smoking weed? Do you hate coughing? Do you want smoother, bigger clouds? Well, I got news for you. Get Freeze Pipe. It'll do that for you. Let me tell you a story that kind of illustrates my experience with Freeze Pipe. I was uh, in Colorado in a mountain town, and I stopped after a long drive to get some chicken wings. And there were some people there. They were dancing. They were dancing to Devil Went Down to Georgia by an old country dj over there about seven or eight people they all knew each other they were drinking pretty pretty heavy for someone's birthday and they said hey stranger to me i was the stranger in this situation they said hey stranger want a drink and i said sure absolutely and they go barkeep get him a rumpies 
Now, I thought, what the fuck is a rupees, you Colorado woods people? It's rumplements. It's smooth, smooth liquor. I don't know what's even in there, but it goes down like a shot of, you know those little uh, uh, white and uh, white and red things, mints you get out of TGI Fridays? And then one time I got a whole fucking, like literally went in there with a bag and just emptied it because I was going to Israel for fucking uh, four months. And I didn't want to know if I could buy any, so I just like stole a shitload. I'm sorry. Legitimately, I'm sorry to the TGI Fridays in Wheaton. Um, or White Oak, excuse me. I apologize. The Rockville Pike one. I owe you guys. But getting back to this ad read, Rumpy's goes down just like one of those mints. And it's like, whoo, fucking refreshing. And I had seven more Rumpies before the night was over. I had to push my car back home. Push my car back to the hotel because I don't condone drinking and driving. And at freezepipe.com, you can get that Rumpy's feeling from weed. Or if you're in a state where that's not legal, from uh, tobacco, I guess, or something that you would smoke instead of maybe just like cabbage. I don't know what you could smoke there. Cabbage, air, just pieces of paper, whatever you want to smoke. The point is, freeze pipe will get you to that rumpy's place. That rumpy's place that harkens back to a ski town in Colorado. Don't you want that? Don't you want that smoothness? I know I do. Damn, I miss that bar. Damn, I miss that DJ. Devil did go down to Georgia, but he didn't leave happy that day. Guys, go to thefreezepipe.com and use a promo code TRIPPIN to get 10% off your entire order and free shipping. That's thefreezepipe.com and code TRIPPIN for 10% off. Order today to get free shipping and say goodbye to harsh smoke forever. Hey, everybody. I'm Ari Shafir. And if there's one thing you know about me, it's that I have massive balls. Not just figuratively. I mean... Literally, I, my balls are, they're not gigantic in the medical term, but they are gigantic in the term that all you would know. They're huge, and they're constantly getting caught up in jeans, bulging against the fucking pressure of the denim. That's why I found the perfect gene. Yeah, the perfect gene from the perfectgene.nyc. Lots of room in the dick, lots of room in the balls. Yeah, maybe you're a dick guy. I'm not, I'm a balls guy. And as a bald guy, I want plenty of room in here. And these jeans are comfortable. They don't shrink in the washroom or dryer when Ryan fucking uh, uh, dries them. When you said, take them out of the dryer, they're going to shrink. And they didn't shrink. That's a lovely other part they don't tell you about. And I got a promo code for you guys because there's another thing you know about me. It's that I love deals. It's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.nyc. My listeners get 15% off your first order, plus free shipping, and free returns, and free exchanges when you use the code TRIPPIN15 at checkout. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc with promo code TRIPPIN15. After you purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please support my show and tell them that I sent you. The Perfect Gene. Guys, for real, they fit great. What else do you want in a jean? They look good and they feel good. Fuck your khakis and get the perfect jean. See you on the road. Dude, How many so days fun. did you stay in the safari for? We stayed in the safari for two for two days. No, uh, it'll be two days, one night. One night, wow. Yeah. And that's all you need, man. And I know it's expensive because we were the only, I never asked the price, but we were the only young people and people of color there. And everybody there was like old and this was on their bucket list. And they yep. kept going, how'd you, how'd you find out about this? How'd you, how'd you get here? And I'm like, oh, I'm a comic. And they're like, wow, what type of jokes did you tell? And they're doing that type of shit. And I'm like, oh, this must be expensive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. I bet. Motherfuckers were telling us that they saved for years. No. They were like, oh, you know, we saved up for three years. Then the pandemic happened. So it gave us some time to save up some more money because they go from one safari to the next safari because it comes with transportation and everything. It must be, if they're ensuring that no one else is around, they it's must be like, because right. I bet with conservation, maybe I'm wrong, but I bet with conservation, like, we got to limit the amount of people here. Yeah. So if we're going to limit it, let's charge hella. I think, I think it was at least two grand and up. Wow. I'm thinking per night, two grand and up. For that many, we were it was there were biologists. No. There was a bi a biologist with me. Biology. Biology. <laughs> biologist. Some dude who uh just graduated med school and was starting uh to work at a hospital and this was like a solo trip for himself. Uh a married couple, 
that were trying to get um like their photos in National Geographic and stuff. Yeah. So people went out there with like, this is the only shot I get. And we're having fun. We're grateful. But wow. we're like, God damn, we're just here to see some shit. Wow. Food was great. They fed you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it was good. It wasn't like I was expecting like prepackaged sandwiches mm-hmm, and shit. For sure. They were making crepes. They made <laughs> like they were making like food food. Wow. Like for one I think uh first day dinner was like um I was eating meat over there too. So I was like happy. Cause like I don't eat meat when I'm here. I just eat fish and stuff. What you went for it there? I went for it there. They had lamb, they had all sorts Why? of Why? Why'd shit. you go for it there? Because those countries don't have the money to really fuck up the 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 food there yeah, they don't have the you like get we, what i'm saying it's like it. it's there's yeah. farm raised yeah. they know it yeah they raise it and they're gonna kill it yeah i've seen chickens in like third world countries and Smallest they're, they're small yeah, yeah that's right so it's like oh there's nothing chemically in yeah. these or or they're doing bad and like i feel like yeah. like if you pay attention to your body and you eat some food you can kind of tell when something sits with you and don't sit and sit Dude, right the junk food in like, yeah. in like scotland yeah it doesn't make you feel shitty and P- americans hate hearing that shit First place, first well, place take that back the ever. FDA. You know, but month because I had that joke about it. People was like, "Well, if you don't like the way America does their food, move." It's like, of course I'm not leaving. Yeah, I'm not, not leaving. Stupid. I don't like traffic. I'm like, what yeah, the fuck? I'm kind of, fucking stay. I got you can you can not like something, yeah. and you have to leave. Yeah, I'm a chill and complain like an American. Yeah, like an American, <laughs> you do. Imagine if like you're married to somebody, and she's like, "Oh, turn the fan on after you shit." Well, you could just leave. Yeah, like all right. It's, like, it's a bit right. much. It's like, damn, I'm, I'm just saying, spray. turn the fan on. <laughs> I just want to complain. Yeah. I don't want to go It's fun. Anywhere. That's yeah. American. That's American. Yeah, we fought for that. No other yeah. country's allowed to complain. Well, um, how far Ooh, away was this for the safari from downtown Nairobi? Like three hours. Like, yeah, I think it was like three and a half hours. And that dude made it feel like a Oh, half that was hour. that trip. Dude, that's he so was cool. Like, you went to fucking Nairobi. Man, best food I had over there, though? Yeah. Swahili food. Because Swahili food, the ingredients... What is Swahili? Is Swahili a country or a people? So Swahili... Uh, or is that the language? It's a language, but it's also like a, a culture and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I think it, I think Swahili is like probably one of the biggest languages spoken in most parts of Africa. I think like maybe like 23 parts of Africa or something like that. It's spoken. But even the food... I hope I'm saying it right. But even the food, I'm hoping I'm doing the justice. Yeah, but yeah. We had Swahili food, okay. which they, I don't want to say borrow, but it's the same spices that you would get if you were eating like uh, Indian food, like cardamom, cumin, all those spices that they use in their dishes. It's also used in Swahili food. Really? And it was delicious. We had like, I had like lamb. Like some slow roasted lamb with like some rice and shit. They do a lot of these stews type I did things. All of that. Wow. Man. What? So it's like a different bowl. Like the samosas and shit. So good. that's African, huh? Yeah. Did they tell you any of the difference between East African and West African food and stuff? Or no. It... Nobody really explained it. I mean, you'd have to go to both yeah, places. Yeah, I would have to go to both. So places it was. It was a lot of that, like individual dishes and different yep. bowls, and a lot of big over rice. things. A lot of big things you can share, but I'm a big dude, so when I got the lamb and rice, it was shareable, but I ate it to myself. Like that? Yo, it was bigger than that. Really? Yeah, it was like the lamb was like on its own thing, damn there. It was like that. Wow, that shit was so good. You mixed the lamb man. What the is that? Rice. Like a dark sauce? It's just whatever sauce they. I don't know what it's called. It's just the gravy of the lamb. Damn. I eat lamb every day. Really? Every day. The lamb is the best meat. It's the it, by far. It's the best meat. It's soft. And you it's still so get delicious. the satisfaction of eating like a dark meat, like a red yeah, meat, yeah. like a beef, but it's not going to stick with you. Right. And it's just like it's just so fucking good. It's, it's the most flavorful meat the of all. From my moons. I mean, no, that's like there's rats there, but it's like it's so good. Nah, dude, nah. I took my friend Red Band there, yeah, and and he was like visiting New York, yeah, and uh, I think I was visiting too actually, and we were like, oh, like I know a good like place to eat. Yeah, I used to always go to the cellar when I was visiting to like get fucking... that. So we went there. He was like, what should I get? I'm like, let's get a falafel. And yeah, he ate it. He was like, what the? This is so fucking good, man. So delicious. and then he goes, I can get another one. Yeah, and I was like, oh well, if we can get another one, I'll tell you what, let's try let's try shawarma this yeah. time. Yeah, he goes, well, I don't know, man. That fucking falafel was the best thing I've ever had. And then he had the shawarma. He's like. Why did we get this the first time? It's delicious. It's so good. It's like, what a, What about that meat that it looked like a Band-Aid when they fucking scrape it <laughs> off, but it's so delicious. Yeah, but if you get like a beef shawarma, you're like, uh, okay. It's not the same. It's not the same. 
The first so time I even had up. lamb was in New York. Same really? thing, eating uh, halal and stuff. So it's big lamb. Oh, wow. It's I had a lot of lamb. Well, it, oh, that's a, a good lot question of people. Too. I had I ate everything I could. I had lamb. I had steak. I had chicken. What about desserts? A desserts? I didn't really go in on the desserts. Okay. But they did. Okay. We did go to the mall where they had like this gelato, and it was amazing. The mall. I think I got a fucking video of the mall. It looked like the Grove in L.A. Did you have this big white ball thing? What? Oh, uh, I think that's fufu. I didn't do it. I bitched out. Fufu? Yeah, I think it's like fufu or something. It's just like a, uh, it's like a ball, and it's like um, I don't want to say it's like rice or whatever. It's just some sort of starch, and you eat it with your hand with the rest of those things. So it's like a replacement of a rice and a potato, Uh. and you just take a piece. And you can put your meat on it or whatever and then pop it in your mouth. I didn't do that. I was about to the very last day. Yeah. But I don't know. My wife was like, you touch so much shit with your hands. <laughs> you just, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's like. Can I yeah. just get some hand sanitizer? Yeah. Is it a lot of eating with, with hands? I would have thought it was, but a lot of people ate with like knives or forks and shit. So, so tell me this, because I was my first like day in Shanghai. Mm-hmm. I went to a uh, I was a hotel. I went to a place across the street from the yeah. hotel, and I, and I and I got um so, something to eat. Yeah. And um and I, it was the first time I noticed they didn't they don't debone the chicken out there. Oh no. They just cleaver it all. Yeah. And so I'm looking at it. I got, got these chops. Like I'm looking. Bones. I was like, "What the fuck?" Bro? And the guy comes by and just like, "Here's a fork." And I'm like, yeah. "No, I didn't know. I know how to use these." <laughs> you just like, Ugh. I just didn't know about the f- fucking chicken. Wait, you never been to a Peruvian spot? Would they leave the bones in? Yeah. With little pe- with little bite sized pieces? Yeah. I guess not. Man. I guess not. I'll put you on a Peruvian spot really? if you go to Queens. Yeah. Okay. Man. What about this? They have the big like fried fish like that? Over I rice? didn't do it, but they had that's, it. That, that seems to me I like that, African but food. But that's what I eat uh, Here. like on a daily basis. Like when I'm home and stuff, if I go to Colombian restaurants, it's the fried whole fish yeah. over rice. So, so I wanted to try something different. Do they have Man. these chicks with the fucking burkas? What's the religion there? It's a bunch of mixed shit. It's a bunch of everybody. I think I don't. I would say I didn't see a lot of garbed up people there. You did not because okay. I think that they had a problem with like Islamic radicalization over there because there's a lot of security and stuff. There is. Yeah. And that comic also made a joke about being Somalian and how like um, like the joke was about him being Somalian, and people being afraid of uh, COVID, but the original fear was Somalians because their their history with terrorism, oh, with, like, Islamic terrorism, because most Somalians are uh, Muslim. Yeah. So he, I got that joke, and they explained, they explained it to me a little bit more. It's like, yeah, man, it's like, we get religious crimes over here. People will blow themselves up and shit. But... What? Every building you went into yeah. that was worth going into, you had to go through security. So they scanned your car, make sure there are those bombs in your car, oh, open right. the door, got a dog to sniff your car. Indonesia, too. They go underneath your car. Yeah. Wow. Fucking, and you're like, what are they doing? And you're like, you don't deal with what we've been dealing with. Yeah. But I didn't get, no one was complaining. I was ready to complain. The American this is ridiculous. Like, the and ridiculous. It's actually not. My, then, my aunt is dead. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's how they <laughs> yeah. felt. They was like, nah, this is how you stay safe. They were like happily fucking let them walk through the metal detectors, let them get scanned down, and then we'll go bowling. Wow. We went bowling. Really? We went fucking that's bowling. That's first world. First world And do they shit. bowl with like, I always- They bowl the, like- heads? Like, no. Like right here. <laughs> yeah. Like they actually- like have fun and live life over there, man. Dude, one of my first weeks in Ecuador, I was like, we just went to like a, a like a rooftop bar. It was like a yeah. patio bar, like a beer garden, and I mm-hmm. saw all these like hip kids there, and I'm like, what did I think Ecuador was? Yeah. Hold on. All right, I thought I had the bowling thing, but basically this is like a passive video of me like going past people's homes because I'm like, Dude, this is what it estates. looks like if those you're in estates. LA. Those are estates. Yeah, I'm like, if you're in LA, oh, whoa, you see this shit. They have this guards shit. though, huh? They have guards and everything because. Like, if you can own some property out there, you can do whatever you oh, no, want with it. He's a gardener. No, they had guards. They did? Yeah, they, they had guards. Like, if you own property like that, you have a you guard. You got to protect it. Yeah, you got to. Not because nobody going to roll up on it, but it's just like, it's your property. Don't even give me, don't even give me Yeah. Me. Like, the guy whose place we stayed at, yeah, his like place LA. was this, as big as that. Just like L.A. Yeah, he had a big place like that, but he didn't have guards, but he had, like, you had to pull up, open the gate, close it. 
And then there's nothing but space. This motherfucker had mango trees. Wow. He had corn. He had banana trees. He had his own irrigation system. He had built a podcast studio, a regular studio. Really? And he's just like, yeah, when you live out here, you can do whatever you want with your land because it's your land. What's the cost of living and stuff? Like, what when you did buy stuff, like, like what did you notice anything like, oh, in America, this would cost more, same, less? Absolutely. It'll definitely be more expensive in America, like, like um, like the reason we we felt like we was balling, we went to dinner every day and we just order anything off the menu because the bill would be they'd be like forty thousand dollars, and then you'll convert it and it'd be like twenty six dollars oh, American. Right. They're like, yes, we going in. So Dude, we isn't it the best feeling? Everything isn't it the best feeling yeah. when you're like, oh, like that was very little. That was very very little. No. Like, even, like, because we convert money to, so we don't have to keep swiping cards. Yeah. We had so much money left over that we just was, like, the, we would, like, just tip people big. <laughs> oh, really? Like, hey, thank you so much. And I'm like, really? I like, yeah, motherfucker, we're going to do with it. And what are we going to Convert do it back to not being anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, they don't give me change. Yeah, they're the, going to be like, here you go. Place. Here's two bucks. Wow. So, Dude, it's the man. best when you're, like, do you ever do a conversion? You're like, And you're like, like, one of you guys goes to pay, right? Uh, and then it's like, how much was it? And they're like, this. I'm like, wait, how much was that? And they're like, I think it was nine dollars. Like, no, yeah. no, no. Do the math again. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. Oh my god, it was nine dollars for a meal for both of us with yeah. drinks. Yeah. Yo, that's what it was like the whole time. Damn. There. We went to go get massages two days straight. How much was a massage? They, they were like, for me and her, like forty dollars a piece. Not okay. even forty dollars a piece. Maybe, maybe together, maybe like sixty bucks for a nice one. Like for yeah. But, I ain't never have yeah. a massage by black people ever, and they did not By black people, yeah. I've never it's had all, one either. Yeah. It's never. Asians or whites. It's Asians or Russians. And these black ladies, fucking, they got down. They put me to sleep. Really? Like, both times. <laughs> get the bed is nice Serena and warm. Williams they were, <laughs> of, of massage therapists. Yo, yeah. I was like, like, one time, my wife woke me up. She was like, babe, get up. And I'm like, wait, what? And she was yeah. like, yeah, you sleep for like five minutes, and I just couldn't let you sit here no more. And I heard them go, let him sleep. He's fine. Uh-huh. Yo. Like, for real. What was hospitality like? Everybody was nice, man. Yeah. Nobody nobody gave you an attitude. What you expect. Well, if I, you're staying in resorts also, yeah, you expect that. Yeah. But even when we would go out in the street and just in public, yeah, just to, like, go out to eat, you still got to deal with the regular people. Right. True. And they were friendly. You'd be like, hey, what's up? And they'd be like, hey, how are you? They wouldn't, like, engage in a conversation. But if you said, hey, they say, hey. And they're not, like, mean mugging you and yeah. shit. Which I, you expect that. Yeah. Like, you're taught to be on guard all the time when you go to Africa. Right. You went and everybody's like, hey, man, how you doing? No one's, like, making me feel uncomfortable. I went to the gym. There are some old dudes. Did you feel, did, like, was it crimey? No. Not really. I okay. didn't feel crimey what, at all. What were you going to say? Old no, I was in the gym and like I've traveled a bunch of times and you go to hotel gyms and usually an old person stick their head in and then they kind of like, hey, what's up? And then they go. This motherfucker was having, mo hey, where are you from? Oh, cool. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Just like chatting it up with me because he felt no fear. Oh, wow. And I seen like so many different ethnicities there. Like you seen like, like I would see like Indian people walking around with their family but even like I'm talking about like they would have like a black son. What do you mean? Like a uh, Indian mom holding the hands of like a, a black kid, and you're like, the fuck? Oh, oh yeah, what dope. was like what was like integration like there? It's everybody's black, right? Everybody's black, but you still see white people over there in relationships with like other people. What do you mean? Other Meaning like, like I like I can explain it more. When I came to when I did the show, you seen. Black people, you see white people, but you also seen them together dating. Right. And you would think Africa, they'd all be like, like nah. yeah, they're like, get that shit. Like, they slap your hand. But they'd be like, what? Get that. You better yeah. break that up. It's like, no, people were happy with each other. And nobody was like, like, oh, all the good black men are took in or why this and that. It's like, they were just enjoying life and flourishing. And it's I like, they weren't even thinking about it. Yeah, they weren't even thinking about it. And I seen that wow. at all the shows. Wow. Like, even the first show I did was like an open mic. When I say open mic, this was still a show because he Not, had yeah. me there. He was like, hey, I want you to see our open mic scene so you know what to expect so it's on like the an, real shows. Right. 
it's so, a new comedy scene, right? It's a new comedy. So I've scene. done a few of the new comedy scenes. Yeah, and it's interesting because they're like, "Whoa, American!" Yeah, like, and so half the crowd is comedians. Yeah, and then what they do is like open mic. So anyone in town's like, "Really?" They're like open mic on Thursdays if you want to yep. come. And then at the end of the American show, like, by the yeah. way, you regular if you ever wanted to try this, yeah. first Tuesday of every month, you're welcome to come. And then that becomes the scene. There's yeah. only like twenty of them. No, nah, they had. I think the list of comics was twenty. Whoa. I think there's a list of twenty comics, but the majority of people there were still audience members. Yeah. And they were young and they were experienced because a lot of people after the show, they were like, oh, you, you're you from New York. And I'm like, I'm not from New York. I live in New York, but I'm from Philly. They was like, oh, I used to live in New York. I went to school oh, here yeah. and this, that, and the third, but they're still from Africa. And they uh -huh. were like, yeah, I traveled, I went around, but I came back here. Isn't that a weird thing when you're like, I've been to New York. I'm like, you've been to New York? Like, and you're running a hotel in the middle of nowhere like, and huh? fucking... Because they don't see... They don't see what we see. They go, we're thriving. Because New York is different. New York and L.A. and Chicago and those cities are different from any other place in America. Most other places in America function like Africa. They what barely have meaning. Like, you know how many places I've been that their downtown isn't really finished all the way? <laughs> they, you know what I mean? Yeah, their downtown yeah. is still under development. They're, they, they finally got the Chick-fil-A. Like, they're still developing. Yeah. So you go to Africa and you see that, and you see that some of these places, uh, like Africa or Nairobi, was still more developed than some mm. of these places in America. You go, what the fuck? I'm mm. been lied to. Yeah, interesting. Like I've been, like you do college gigs and shit, and you dry. You never did. You don't do college gigs. Too dirty. Oh, I wanted you to. You not I though. To. You just gotta tell. You just gotta tell your agent what you're willing to do and not do, because I'm not a clean comic. True. But I tell my agent, I'm like, hey, like, I don't really want to do schools where I have to. Like Notre Dame, you're like, forget it. Don't yeah, I'm like, me. I'm not going to do that school because there's a comic that exists who does that better than me. Right. So I'm not going to put myself in a position to fucking look stupid for some money when there's somebody who will fucking flourish in a situation. Right. So what is it? Just don't curse, but say whatever you want? Yeah, and I pretty much do that. My, I tell my college agent that, and she's fine with that. Oh, okay. And I understand that, yeah, I won't get all the gigs, but at least the ones but the, I get. You'll be right for you. I can fucking yeah. say what I want. But I brought out that to say is like college gigs have showed me that some of these places are oh. just like I've been in college gigs where you got to drive on a dirt road for maybe like an hour and you're like where the fuck are we? There's no cell phone service. <laughs> you're in Africa, Africa, yeah, USA. These, these kids are like, you, we got a pizza shop. We got our first pizza shop in the neighborhood. And you're like, why'd you pay for the school? Yeah. How would you find out about this shit? Do my buddy lives in and she's a Rhodes Scholar. Mm -hmm. She lives in like Western Massachusetts, mm -hmm. I think, and um. And I was like, what's the food scene like? She goes, you know, we had a Chinese place, but then that closed. And so now we don't have any Chinese place. Yeah. And you're like, what is and your And they life? tell you Africa don't got shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, so, so. Um, uh, Uber Eats, my dog. That's, that, let's just say this. Yeah. It was like fucking. They had that? Yeah. It was like, it. I think it was like Love Sunday it. night. Love it. Me and my wife, we were like, yo, we don't feel like leaving. We don't feel like going anywhere. The person who booked this, he was like, yo, you want to hang out? He was like, yo, we're tired, and we like, we just want to chill. My wife ordered Uber Eats from an Italian restaurant, like a pizza and stuff, <coughs> no. and it was good. And we're like, are we in Africa? How the fuck can I get Uber Eats in Africa at an Italian <coughs> restaurant? Damn. Flatbread Italian pizza, delicious. Ain't no fucking Italians and Mexicans. Do they have any weird fusion the... stuff where it's like Ethiopian flatbread with pizza? <laughs> I you know? wish. I would have tried that. Yeah, for sure, right? An Ethiopian. African flatbread pizza? I would have definitely tried it. You ever have matza pizza? No, I would try that. You know that. what matza they... is? Yeah. The Jewish whatever. Yeah, yeah. So we used to do that. Put sauce and then the cheese on it, stick it in the oven. So you can, I would do that. Yeah, it would say, if you did it like high and fast, yeah. it stayed crispy. Okay, because that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, matzah, like, when it's... If you can't soak it through, you got to go easy yeah, on the sauce. Yeah, because I'm like, that shit is like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would try that. Yeah. If there was a place that did it, I would definitely try it. Damn. Have you had any... When did you get back? I got back... I was there for 10 days, so I got back um, July 30th. And that's their winter, though, huh? Yeah. And it right, was so that's frigid. why it's cold. It was fucking cold. And Damn. it was even colder, colder in the safari, like... You, they gave you a poncho that was in, uh, that was lined, yeah. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't need it. And by the time we took off on that goddamn uh, jeep, I was wrapped up in that joint. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> it got cold. Yeah, man. Fuck, man. What did did you see anything there? Does it? Uh, did one with soda. He was. We were like figured this out. Like when you go travel and sometimes it like helps um, 
point out something from where you're from, from like America, like, oh, like we do that differently. And then you like finally notice the thing you do here. I'm trying to think. I think I had a lot of those moments, but you only notice them within the moment. And like, you're gone, none, you don't, yeah, yeah. none are gone. I can't even really pinpoint anything. The first one I saw, somebody was like, someone was like, when you land at the airport, sometimes you notice that the fonts on the signs are different than the fonts you have, and yeah. it strikes you like, I'm in a new place. Yeah. You know? You, well, yeah, no, we don't, the we don't use this color scheme on, you know yeah. That you're in a different place, because uh, the, the airport was, it looked like a big medical tent. Oh, yeah? Because everything, like, it's, it's going to last, but it's, all tarp and, and shit that can be collapsed and ready to be set up. So it was never oh, any really? like structural building oh. like a JFK or anything. Oh, where you land that outside and like take, the, take the stairs down? You land down? outside, then you walk to uh, inside and go through customs. So you go shit. like on the tarmac and then walk Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That all was the places. thing that I was like, all right, I'm in a different country. Yeah, but... we don't really do that anymore yeah. here. It's always you go in right into the gate, you don't see outside. Yeah, it and is, I know yeah. I'm going to be on a shitty flight if I have to do that. If I got to walk to my plane... At least in my case, I know I ain't walking to a private jet. I'm walking to a fucking shitty plane yeah. that I can't really fit on. I went to French Polynesia. It's like that. You yeah. get out and you're like, oh, I'm outside. Yeah. Already like, outside. Holy shit. Yeah, you're like, I'm already here. Yeah. I I, I kind of like, that's nice because you step out and you're like, even though it's the airport, you yeah. know, and it, but it's still like, you can yeah. the air's different. Yeah. Usually it's, you have to like go through the customs and then when the door opens to where the cabs are, I think yeah. that's when it usually hits me. Like, yeah. whoa, I'm here. Nope, I'm somewhere. Not even that. As soon as we got out. It was still the it was still like the cab area, but we were met by the the dude. So as soon as we got off the plane and got through customs, he had a sign. He took us straight to the car, and then we went to eat. Uh, not at the place I showed you. We went to a coffee house first. Yeah, that looked like a coffee bean. Oh you yeah, coffee Kenyan beans? coffee is huge, right? Oh, but they had a chain place. Yeah, but it was their chain, right? And it was dope. And I'm like, wow. Like, yeah. This thing, I'm like, this is a lie. Like. And I'm asking them. I'm Does like, it, yeah, those things don't they seem like, like? Yeah, this is just like Pete's Coffee or or, or it's yeah. like it's like so similar where you could see like a guy just designed it to look like the the South American one is all red. I forget yeah. what his name is. It's like some guy's name. I don't know. And it's like it's that's their Starbucks or or coffee. It was bean. a similar thing. Yeah, but it wasn't a Starbucks. It was definitely like a a, a, a cafe that. Had like really good food. They served everything from burgers to like you can get a nice lamb chop if you want and stuff like that. And we're just sitting there like, get the fuck out of here! Like this is y'all chain. Mm-hmm. You Do what? Oh. Yeah, coffee chain. Oh. Best coffee chain review. Java House. Let me see it. I can tell by the sign. Uh, no. It doesn't matter. What's that? Do you drink coffee usually? Yeah, I fuck up some coffee. So was the coffee good? Because Kenyan coffee is good coffee, right? It was good that's coffee. A, that's known as a it good... Was, it was really good coffee, but I drank the tea more because the tea was just so subtle and good. Really? Because, you know, like, if you drink, like, uh, 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 like, a Lipton green tea or whatever... Yeah. Like, you can taste, like, it has, like, a chemical taste almost. This one was, like, smooth, and it wasn't overpowering or anything. And then if you put, like, honey or a little bit of lemon in it, it was perfect. Oh, I see where it is. But now. you gotta drink it Somalia. hot. They make that shit super fucking hot. It's like right around here. Okay. It'd be like right around there. Oh, Mombasa. Yeah. Mombasa. It's, it's just yeah, oh, so Mala. So it's like, like right here. It's right near Mombasa. Is it's it like near this like Victoria Lake, giant lake there? Probably. That's right on the edge of it. Yeah. So it cuts in right there. Because when we was driving to the airport, you seen an exit to go to Mombasa. Okay. Yeah. Damn, interesting. Oh man. Recommend. Recommend, hell yeah. Yeah, I bet. I, Dude, yes. that, that fucking scenery you showed me was so fucking tits. Man. I'm trying to see if I have any more. I tried to stay off my phone. That's smart. Yeah. I appreciate you going on there just for this. I tried well, to, While you were yeah. there, you mean? Yeah, when, yeah, dude, I, was when I was there, in Paris, when I was like, take pictures, I'm like, I'm actually trying not to. Yeah, I, I'm like, man, I'm not trying to be glued to my phone. I was yeah. trying to really, here, here's the show. Just so I can let you know, like, this was the theater that they were dealing with. Yeah. I got it. Real place. Like, yeah, real place. And you go in there. Real but, place. Hold on. Wait until like uh, show it so you can see me walk out and show uh. the audience. Like, dude, the dude packed it out. And you see white people in that audience. You see Asians in that audience. Some mass too. You see everybody in that goddamn audience. Oh, this guy in the back has his hands straight up in the air. He's so stoked. People <laughs> were there to have fun. And here's the thing that made yeah, it even dope. Yeah, what were the dope. crowds like? The crowds were fun. And I... 
I don't really get standing nervous. up, bro. Yo, they're having they're standing fun. up before you even got on. They loved the show. They had a good time. That's for it because it's the end of the show, uh, so they're uh, clapping for everybody. But they here's the thing that made me a little nervous is when you hear comics speaking like their their language or just their dialect mm -hmm. and getting laughs, and I'm like, man, you're like, can I relate? Gonna, I'm like, they are not going to get me, and they got it. Oh yeah, and they got it. One, Even the first one night, thing we have lucky is a stand up and Hollywood is filmed quite often for yeah. the whole world in American like yes. dialect. So they're they they might not be their dialect, but they've heard ours. Yeah. But we've never heard like Bolivian. Yeah. We rarely ever get that accent. You Dude, know? I don't even know what it sounds like. Yeah, me neither. But yeah. I'm saying like but everybody like you make a New York subway joke, people are like yeah. I've never been to the Western hemisphere. Yeah. But I know what a New but York I subway is. I know what New York subway yeah. is. Dude, you Damn. can hear even though I didn't speak whatever like that because on the show show, yeah. everybody spoke English, but some Good. people's English were more clear than others. But on the open mic, there were some people who, like, you can be like, oh, you're using Somali slang or whatever. Or Cheating. maybe, That's like, what Latin comics do. Arab Arabic slang, and they oh, wow. get it. Wow. And I'm sitting here like, I don't know what he's saying, like, but he's killing Yeah, like, fuck. And I'm like, fuck. I don't know if they're going to understand me. <laughs> and I went up there, hey, what's up? Uh, all right, fuck it. And you just jump in, and then they get it. Because, it, well, also, nobody there is as experienced a comic as you are. Exactly. Right? I had to rely on that. That by was the far, one thing. Though, not I'm even, like, like by yeah, a couple years. No, yeah. Like, fivefold. Yeah. So you just switch some shit. Like, literally, I was like, all right, I think I'm going to just have to speak more clearly, slow down Slowly, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, because it's an accent. But I'll have to do these jokes. And they got the stuff about my parents and, like, growing up and all yeah. that stuff. And uh, I made the reference. orphan stuff was like we are all orphans. But they, they don't <laughs> have not. foster care to her. What do they do? They just so fucking live because with somebody dogs? else's family member is going to step in. They're like, they're like, yo, we got home. We got like a. They call it like a. It'd be equivalent to an orphanage or whatever. But it takes a lot for your kid to end up there. Wow. They're like, yeah, you know, there's people who didn't grow up with their parents, but their aunt took them in, or their right. a person down the street took them in. So That's when I talk about foster care, they're yeah. like, God, they react the same way. Why did someone take acts. you? Like, oh, they were yeah. too. And I was like, damn, I <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, I got some talking to do when I get home. Like, y'all motherfuckers ain't nobody. <laughs> and Samantha, what the yeah. fuck? Hey, what's yeah. up? Oh, I was busy on the town. I was dating. Yeah. Uh, so when I saw in that crowd, that you did not see a lot of those like bright African, like you know, the garb. No, I'm uh, glad. that you see here a lot of little Africa here, a little mm -hmm. Africa in Paris was like a lot of that. That's but it just, seemed like a lot of just jeans and t-shirts. Because it's not that. It's not that, right. And and like and it was funny dude. because me like not me, I didn't care, but my wife and the other comic's wife, they wanted to go to a, a market. Yeah. Which is like the the market where you go and you buy shit and the they show, they open air? Get, yeah, open air market. Cause Love they're like, it. we're gonna get a lot of authentic shit. And we got like some I think they call them like shukas and stuff, which are basically like shawls, like big ass blankets and shit. And I liked it and it was warm. But, like, after we got our stuff, we were talking to the people who were from there. And it was like, I'm like, oh, do you have any of these? And I was like, no. I'm like, why? It was like, because it's junk. Right. We're not buying junk. We understand that you're just buying knickknacks from a flea market. And we're like, shit, it is a flea market. It's the same shit oh, as yeah. if I imagine went to that. New Jersey. Yeah, imagine you're visiting here like, I got a ruler. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, we like, don't need one okay, of those. We don't give a, fuck. a real American ruler. So that's how they reacted. Oh, wow. And we were like, oh, y'all don't wear like the garbs or nothing? It was like, nah. They had on like Nike and stuff that's like that. That's so funny. And they're like, yo, man, we're your age. We were raised how you were raised. So the same things you want, we want. So were you disappointed at all in that? Because isn't there there's some desire, like, I want them to be in grass skirts yeah. and be that thing. But they're like, yeah, but we found out about T-shirts. And yeah. they're quite comfortable. And you we're going to wear them, too. You roots and culture, but you got to remember that those things change as time progresses yeah. and technology does. That not everybody going to keep praying to a pig and wearing fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, even the Maasai, <laughs> like, we realized it was a costume. Like, I don't know. Oh, you shit. see the guy. Yeah. He has his thing. You, the guy who was fixing his food, he wore his Maasai shit. But we befriended him on WhatsApp. And this motherfucker, he got his set up like he got a dating profile. He got a nice suit and shit. Damn. He was like, oh, wow. Like, he really just put on that costume to make us feel like 
we're getting like the experience. The experience. Uh, but to him, he's just like, I'm going to work. Y'all want to see some? Imagine if someone coming to visit America. I'm like, I'll find a cowboy hat and I'll put yeah, it on. Like, I guess that's what they want. Y'all, y'all. Yeah, you imagine coming. I was like, why is no one wearing jeans? Yeah. <laughs> like, cause it's not the old West. Like, what? That's why those people, and that's why, like, some hood New Yorkers still exist to let people know they're like, cause I don't think I know <laughs> think so lives. many people from New York who yeah. don't do that. Yeah. Like, Bing Bong, what's up? This shit, they're just normal people. Nice seeing you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, they exist to preserve. Do black people just shake hands, or yeah. is it always a ten thing so move? Like, <laughs> yeah. I always try to make it complicated. That's smart. I just make do them uncomfortable. It. Yeah, make people uncomfortable. Uh, dude. Um, yeah. Thank I you. Had so much fun. Man. This was sick. This was cool. Yeah. I want to go to Nairobi now. I yeah yeah. Please go. Yeah. Please go. You'll have a Damn, great time. Awesome. You'll feel welcomed. What's and the- I heard there's a club. We didn't go to the club, but we heard there's a club that just lets white people in. <laughs> To make him comfortable. He wanted, yeah. yeah, he wanted to he wanted to take us there. He's like, yo, y'all want to go to this club? I was like, I'm not really a clubber. He's like, no, nah, but it's like weird. Like the line for black people is like around the corner. To get and it. then there's a line for white people, but they don't say it's for white people, but Damn. it's the line for white people and they get in because they think they're gonna spend money. And I'm like, Damn. this is Africa. Damn. This is your place. And Damn. y'all still let, let that go happen. on. What's uh? What's that? Anything? What's next on your list? What's in your mind that you like want to go to? We'll wrap it up now. I, I want to go to. I want to go to Singapore. Singapore. I want to go to Singapore. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I just seen it pop up so much on my like Instagram. For so you don't have years. to know why. Sometimes it's just it's gnawing in your brain for and no just, reason. Like, I want to go to Singapore. Yeah. I want to and I want to talk to Ronnie about it. Ronnie Chang. Yeah, I think he used yeah. to live there. Okay, I'll definitely talk to Ronnie about it. He's a cool dude. Yeah, for sure. Ronnie's the best. I'll definitely talk to him about it. I want to go to Singapore. I want to go to uh, South Africa, Johannesburg. I was about to say Cape May. That's so funny. (laughs) Cape May, uh, Cape Town. Yeah. And that's it right now. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's doable. Yeah. There's a gig in Singapore for sure. Yeah? Yeah, you can can do Singapore. They actually usually want to root it with, like somewhere around here, right? Yeah. They usually want to root it with um, a, a Chinese tour, okay, or like Philippines. See, I've only Japan. been to I I've been to China, but yeah. when I was in China, we've only went to Suzhou, Hangzhou, was it Suzhou, Hangzhou, Singapore, Beijing, yeah, and maybe one other place I'm forgetting. Peking. Oh yeah. Anyway, man, I'm gonna get back over there, man. Dude. You been to Tibet? You no. said no, never been no. to Tibet. I wanna I wanna off Southeast Asia here. I was kind of I was all here. Dude. Papua New Guinea, we see team wars around here. Nah, yeah. I'm being honest. That shit was inspiring. When you told us, when I found out you stopped doing a show in the middle of, pro- like you left your show in the middle of production just to go on a <laughs> fucking trip by yourself with nothing but a flip phone. I was like, <laughs> me and Chloe, you know Chloe. Yeah. Me and Chloe was like, how the fuck do we do that? How do we do that? How do we do that shit? Because you feel so connected that you're just like, you're going to miss out on some opportunities and whatever. But that was the most like, I don't give a fuck. I create my own opportunities. Duncan said and, it once. He, go, he goes like, so they're like pressuring me, like, got to go right back into filming again. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to go do this trip. And they don't. And he goes, so these people that you work with, they're telling you not to see the world. Yeah. And you, do you want to see the world? No. I'm like, I want to see the world. So you want to see the world. And they're telling you you can't go see the world because of work. So like, I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. Dude. You don't have to say it all the way out. Yeah, you're right, dude. <laughs> I'm gone. You did that. Yeah. I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I have to figure that out. Yeah, that's cool. You went to China after that. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I gotta figure that out. But I still have my phone with me. I still load my phone. Like, sure. Audition tape. Sure. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I still. Even in Africa, I still fucking. My manager, because I was gone for so long, I was like, what if, what if something comes up? I'm like, then you just say no. Yeah. Like, what if something you want to do? I'm like, I don't want to hear about it. I'm gone. I'm still a hoe, man. I was in Africa still doing self tapes. That's Just hilarious. Like, Can you hear me? Serengeti. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Service a little bad. Do it over again. <laughs> like an idiot. All right. Monroe Yo, Martin, where are you, you on uh, whatever? Instagram? At Monroe. Uh, Monroe Martin, I, I, I on Facebook, That's the third. Instagram, TikTok, and all that stuff. That's the third. Monroe website. Martin, or I, I, I yeah. on everyone. And then MonroeMartinComedy.com is the website. Great, dude. Right. Funny comic. Thank you. Now a fucking traveler. Thanks for doing it. I'll have you back another time to talk about another place. Absolutely. Damn, what an episode. That's it, everybody. I hope you liked it. God damn. Man, I want to be out there in the Sahara so fucking bad. I mean, 
If you're not subscribed to this podcast on YouTube, you should be. It's at UB Trip and Pod on YouTube. And that's when the guests show videos, pictures of their own trips. And the man, the, the picture, the video that Monroe was showing me about that whole sunset in the Sahara or sunrise. I, it's just, it's wild. What a fucking trip. What a fucking trip. What a cool thing stand-up comedy does, too, that allow you access to where all these rich old men are, and then suddenly you have access. Um, what was I going to say? Don't forget, get tickets for my stand-up comedy special in Washington, D.C., April 26th and 27th. The first show on the 27th is sold out. So hurry up and get tickets for the Late Show or the Friday show on the 26th. Uh, it's at the Capitol Turnaround. Tickets are at arishafir.com for everything. Uh, today's episode is a production of Your Mom's House Network Productions. It is edited by Alan Caffey, expertly, and starring Munro Martin, who you should check out on social media right now. He's fucking great. Um, really, a really funny, unique, original comic. And he has a set that he recorded there that you should check out, too. Uh, I've got some other stuff on the road coming up. Um, Halifax, we added a second show because the first show sold out on April 11th. Uh, Ottawa's sold out. Rutland, Vermont is still selling on the 13th. Uh, Huntington, New York, Long Island on the 14th is still selling. 420 in Austin. And if there's anybody in Austin the day before you think I should legitimately get on this podcast, maybe I'll do one in front of the Capitol with somebody. Um, and then my special... Washington, D.C., the Capitol Turnaround, April 26th and 27th. Get tickets for all shows at rishavir.com. And Australia, May 17th and 18th in Melbourne, May 24th in Adel Adelaide, 25th in Canberra, um, Brisbogan on May 31st, and June 1st in Sydney, Australia. Oh, I'm excited for that one. And then that's it. And then I'm out on the road till 2025. So catch me while you can. This tour is about over. Um, next week, you can look forward to an interesting episode. It's Corinne and Christina Hutchinson from the Guys We Fuck podcast came in to tell me about Tulum, Mexico. They went uh, during uh, COVID lockdown, the very beginning. It was locked down while they were there. Everybody took off. It's a very unique, interesting story. A lot of these are not going to be stuff you can recreate. A lot of these episodes are going to be stuff that's only time and place, like Yoshi about Kabul. That Kabul is dead. That Kabul is dead now. But Yoshi was there at a certain time, and I want to get that. And these girls, Corinne and Christina, women, I would say, um, were in Tulum when it was like, it's a tourist mecca, and there was like 20 people there total. It was wild. It was real cool. So tune in next week. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, at UB Trippin' Pod, or on socials, at UB Trippin' Pod, and wherever you listen to your episodes. Uh, subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, at UB Trippin' for the listenerships. And that's it, you guys. I uh, hope you're enjoying these. I really do. I'm having a lot of fucking fun recording them. I tell you that much. Until next week, I don't know, fucking Kenyan. God damn, I got to learn some fucking goodbyes in these languages. Or it'll be like, keep tripping. Or get out to the world, see the world, but in the different languages. Anyway. Until I figure that out. Guys, until next week. <laughs>